When you set up a new deal pipeline inside of HubSpot, it's going to ask you to find a probability or a weight for each stage, which is the likelihood that a deal that makes it to that stage is going to become closed one. These are super helpful for things like weighted forecasting, for example. Now, most clients just kind of put in an educated guess based on what they think their conversion rates are. But there's actually a great report inside of HubSpot that'll show you exactly what your conversion rates are over time, so you can continuously update those percentages and keep them accurate. And that's what we're gonna show you how to do today. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. All right, so here we are inside of a deal pipeline inside of HubSpot, and those percentages that we were just talking about are gonna be down here at the bottom of each stage. So you can see in this first stage, we got a percentage of 20%, so it's going to give us a weighted total of 20% of the total of all of the deal amounts in this column. And so if you are setting up a new pipeline or if you wanna edit the percentages for an existing pipeline, you're gonna go up here to settings, navigate down on the sidebar to objects and deals and go to the pipelines tab. And so here we see the pipeline we were just looking at, that demo sales pipeline, and we've got the deal probability amounts for each stage. If we we're gonna create a new pipeline, we just hit this drop down here and hit create pipeline. So the question becomes, what should these probabilities be? And this is where we see many clients just kind of putting a number based on their best guess, but we want that to be an accurate number. The more accurate this number, the more accurate your forecasting can be, the more accurate those weighted totals can be at the bottom. And so there is a report in HubSpot that gives you an idea of what that number should be based on your historic conversion rate. So after you've been using HubSpot for a while, we recommend going back to this report, looking at it, and then updating your deal probabilities accordingly. And so where that report is going to live is gonna be under reports and analytics tools and sales analytics. And then this place is gonna give you all kinds of reports about your sales, but we're gonna be looking for a specific report that's gonna live under this forecast and pipelines dropdown, and then deal funnel. So I'm gonna bounce over to our live portal so you can see a portal that's actually got some numbers in it. All right, so now we're in this report that actually has some numbers in it. Uh, and you can see what we've got is all of our deal stages for an individual pipeline and the conversion rate from one stage to the next. And so in this right-hand side menu is where you're gonna select the pipeline that you're looking at and the stages that you're looking at, as well as the time frame. And so what we want to do is we wanna see for each one of these stages, what is the percentage of deals that make it from that stage to closed one? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to deal stages, this bottom drop down. We're gonna go one stage at a time. So we're gonna hit our first stage after this all created deals. So first stage and closed one. And now we see that conversion rate, which is about 30% for us. So you wanna note that down. And then you'll go to the next stage. So we'll uncheck this first stage, check our second stage. You'll notice that they're in the wrong order here. So to fix that, uncheck closed one and check it again. And now we've got for our second stage, a conversion rate of about 46%. You'll wanna do that for each stages in your pipeline and for all of your pipelines if you've got multiple of them. Once you have those down, now you're gonna go back into your settings and adjust your deal probabilities for your pipeline to make them more accurate. So if we go back to, bounce back to our other portal and go back to those settings under objects and deals and this pipelines tab, we would want to go ahead and edit each one of these. So that first one was 30%. The second one was 46%. You'll notice you've only got the tens as options here, but you can type in a new amount. So we'll do 46, hit add option, click on it, and there we go. And if you save it and go back to your deal pipeline, you can see that those numbers have updated across the bottom. And if you're using the forecasting tool, which if you're not, definitely recommend going and checking out our forecasting video. It's an amazing tool inside of HubSpot. Updating those percentages there will update them for that tool as well and make that more accurate for you. So that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you learned something about how to make your reporting more accurate. And for more HubSpot tips, tricks, and how-tos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to our newsletter in the link in the description. See you next time.